Doug Collier, 13 Jake Taylor, 14 Isaac Russell, 15 Alex Brooks, 16 Bo Lucy, and 17 is Hamish Holland for the line. Team Diana take the field with the one or two is Tom Through here. Can you hear it? Can you? Can you hear it? Go again. You hearing anything? Yeah, actually, yep. I think that's good. Yeah. Talk through it again. Yeah. Not through this. Not hearing it through that. Oh, okay, yep, yep. All right, let's get started. You might just have to stand close and. Yep. You're not coming in as well. This one, this one. I'll have to turn the volume up. Good to go. Well, as far as country rugby league rivalries, they don't get much bigger than Gerringong and Kayama, and particularly in an elimination game. Hello and welcome to Mick Cronin Oval in Gerringong. It is the Group 7 final series as both sides fight for survival in Week 2 of the finals. Gerringong, they had a 30-22 loss in the qualifying final last week. And Kayama, well, they're walking the sudden death tightrope. They thrashed Warilla last week, 38 points to 6. And they'll be looking to continue on their merry way as they serve for a seventh straight win this afternoon. Going through the sides. In fact, we'll have a minute's silence first and then we'll go through the sides. So going through the sides is 1 to 17. No changes for the Lions. It's Gumley Ducey the back. Uh, Gumley Quine at the back. Ducey and Phillips on the wing. Winchester and Roberts in the centres. Mulhor and Russell. Weir, Ford, Hagen front row. Chandler, Collier, Taylor back row. Russell, Brooks, Ducey and Hall on the bench. Kiama, Atkins, Morris, Thistleweight, Ford, Delaney. Dylan Morris, Cameron Vizola, Chalker, Martin, Clark. Tim's in as a late replacement. Angel, Paul, Farrell, Brown, Gilmore, Gladman. We are just about set to go. Will Drury is the referee. He blows time on and Kayama kicked the ball. Shallow towards the western end. It bounces off its point and it's back in the hands of the Knights. And they'll get first use of the football in attacking real estate. What a kickoff that was. Now Chalker. He goes into the red zone. He's about 12. Make it 10 metres out. Good post-contact metres from the big forward as they... Go now to Vizola. Vizola straight to the line. He goes out the back to Atkins. Short ball. This will be a try. Did he get the ball down? Angel. He seems to think so. Will Drury seems to think so. And inside the opening minutes, the Knights strike and leave the Lions shell-shocked. 
Try number 14 for this try scoring whiz on the left edge. Tom Angel off a beautiful ball. Cameron Vizola showing all the class in the world. And what a start by Kayama as they search for seven straight here. And all importantly, search for a place in the preliminary final. Well, some absolute stunned silence. A massive crowd in this afternoon. Plenty of Lions supporters out on the hill. Some night supporters in here as well. They can't believe at the start they've seen. It was a great kickoff. Now Cameron Fazola. Looking to make it 191 points for the season. He is the Group 7's leading point scorer. And the man only second to him is in the 13 jersey for the Lions, Jake Taylor. As they duel it out for the top point scorer award. So 12 metres in from the southern touchline, Cameron Fazola to make it 6-0 Kayama. On its way, touch judges like it. Chalk it up, 6-0. Kayama, what a start. Jeringong coming into this one, losing three of the last four, a real form slump. They've done enough in the, certainly the first half of the season to, to ensure that double chance. As that kickoff goes high and shallow as well. Trying to emulate what Kayama did. A knock on and toe through. And I suspect the Lions will get the scrum loose and feed. What a bizarre start we've seen. Neither side receiving the kickoff. Able to come up with possession. What a chance for the home side to bounce back. Russell Feeds, Winchester dancing, stepping back on the inside, 10 metres out, Russell, wide ball Mulhall, Mulhall takes it into two defenders, Paul was down low, Ford looks to the blind side, he's got Russell there, he goes further afield to Chandler, Chandler, he's run into a brick wall of defence there, four of them to meet him. He'll play the meter out. Back to the open side, Russell. Taylor switching it on the inside. And that's Jordan Chandler. Two meters out. Already trailing by six, the Lions looking to bounce back. Russell, wide to Taylor, run around to Russell. In and away from Winchester, looking for another try. The leading try scorer on the competition. He strikes back. It's try number 25 for Matt Winchester. And what a start we've had. 6-4, kick to come. And the Lions bounce back in the best way possible. Nice in and away. Matt Winchester... Double last week. A real bounce back to form for the left centre for Jeringong, who perhaps has had a bit of a lean trot over the last few weeks. Four minutes gone. We've already had two tries in the elimination semi. The winner to take on the loser of tomorrow's grand final qualifier between the Shell Arbor Sharks and the Jamboree Subarus. Can't wait for that one. Now Jake Taylor. Tougher assignment than Vizola had. Just a couple of metres in from the northern touchline. He's a reliable kick though. Taylor moves in, sitting up. It has the direction. A kicking masterclass here today. Cameron Vizola v Jake Taylor. Six points all, five minutes gone. Well, if this is what we can expect for the next 75 minutes, bring it on. I hope you're enjoying on Bar TV. Going over the corner. 
Jake Taylor converted. So we're six all. Those the board doubles. You have to wait long to get a result. Uh, the home team number two scored first. Team number 12. So big defence coming in. You can feel the grandstand shake with that one. Copping the treatment. Taylor now going towards that northern touch line. Did well to stay in. Got some help from his support. Back to Russell now to Weir. Good battle this front row battle today between these two sides. So back to the short side now. With Chandler. Ford waiting. Back to the boot of Taylor. He goes high. Off the side of the boot. It might work out. Well, that one was it just outside the 20. And was he inside the 40? Nevertheless, a, a good settler there for the Lions. So, Kayama with the ball. Clark, upended. Good defence. That was Judd Collier. Now they shift. Looking to test the Lions around the fringes. Back to the centre for Luke Chalker. 30 metres out from his own line. Six all. What a start, Clark. Running wide. Almost up to halfway. Back to the centre of the park, playing at the line. That was Morris uh, giving a nice little ball there. And that's the fifth and last. Now to the boot of Vizola. Vizola kicks it back to the centre of the park and Gumley Quine has to backpedal. He was heading towards the southern end and Manages to retrieve that one, Gumley Quine. What an excitement machine he is. And an early penalty, all offside the Knights. Eight minutes gone. A try apiece, a conversion apiece. What a great advertisement for the final series, a local derby between two sides with some genuine feelings, some genuine hatred there. So the Lions get another look at the Knights. We're with it. 40 metres out. Russell onto Mulhall. He's got options on his inside and he hits Roberts. And Poole was there to wrap him up, ball and all. Four darts out of dummy half. He had Gumley Quine trailing. Taylor quick hands onto Chandler, and Chandler is taking some stopping. They eventually bring him down. 25 metres out. Short side they go. Taylor again. He throws the big dummy. They were waiting for him. He gets an offload back there over the top. It was a basketball type pass, and now eventually back to the middle for Weir. Weir will play at 15 out. Fifth and last. They'll look to the boot of Russell. Russell goes to the corner. He's got the chase of and the leap of Roberts, who tries to get up. It may have been lost by the Knights. We'll wait for the call. And it looks like it will be a scrum to Jeringon. Not off the hook here by any stretch are the Knights. Russell feeds it. Mulhall, quick hands. Gumley Quine, they want to give Winchester the ball with plenty of time and space. He slips. He gets back up and makes another 5 or 10. He'll play at centre of the park. Eastern end. Ford goes left. Russell, Gumley Quine, a standing start. They don't want to give this man room. He will cut them to ribbons. He goes from 0 to 100. In 2.3 seconds, I tell you, he is quick. Winchester again. Two metres out. If that. Russell. Taylor shows it inside to Mahal. Throws a cutout. It's a horrible pass to Chandler. It goes behind him, but the call is forward.
What a rapid 10 minutes we've had. Both sides scoring with their first set of the football. Zola feeds it. Tim's out there with it. Back to Chalker. And that was a good piece of contact there. It was Mulhall coming in under the rib cage, and they drive him back. Oh, now Clark with some bruising defence from Ford and Mulhall again. So Chandler comes in, gets some help there. It was Roberts underneath. He comes again. They make the tackle. 35 out. The Knights going nowhere, so they go down the narrow short side. They almost ran out of room. But they come back infield. 10 metres made on that occasion. Fifth and last. Morris showing the ball. He kicks. Deflected off. That's got to be offside. That'll be a penalty to Kayama. An unlucky deflection. And it was Alex Weir who... More out of reflex, pick that ball up. Perhaps not real, realising until it was too late that he was in an offside position. Here's Clark. The Knights back on attack. The one-on-one -on -one strip attempted. They can't quite make it. Ford was trying to attempt the strip. Now quick hands. Pull on to Chalker. He's 11 short. They've got Morris to the right. They go back to Vizola, though. He goes short, straight over as Tyler Clark. And doesn't he let them know about it? Bouncing away from Gumley Quine. He was never going to be stopped that close. The Knights back in front, 10-6. Tyler Clark, the Milton Aladala Bulldog Jr. Scoring a try, of course, with the Dogs having no first grade presence for most of the season. He's chased an opportunity in Kiama and he has grabbed it with both hands. He's really added a lot to this pack. Now Vizola carefully lines this one up. He's 10 metres to the left of the posts. Nails a, a slightly more difficult conversion to make it 6-0. Can he make it 12-6? <laughs> Taking his time. Oh, and he's hooked it. Well, he's been the architect for both the Knights' tries, but he fails to convert, and it's 10-6. The Knights leading. They look dangerous every time they get into the red zone of the Lions. So Mulhall gets us back underway. That one allowed to bounce. Both these sides this season are one win apiece. Jeringong winning in round two, 36 to 10 at the Kaima Showground as the Knights get a penalty here. They want to go on with it quickly. Dylan Morris told to go back as Will Drury gives the Knights the mark. But then Kaima exacted some revenge right here in that, uh, obviously, that continuous call team game in round 16. 16 to 12 on that occasion. And that really started a, a bit of a horror run for the Lions running into the finals. And it's Kaima with the advantage at the moment. 15 gone, 12-6. Clark plays it. 
Kieran Poole now. They're 40 out. Now darting out a dummy half. Thought it was a question mark on the pass and it's been called forward. Just getting it wrong, Daniel Martin. The Lions let off the hook. Russell, Joel Ducey. Nine tries, Joel Ducey sitting on for the season. Ford going out a dummy half. He was closely monitored and eventually tackled by Kieran Pull. Now it's Reese Hagen who missed last week's game. Mulhall flat at the line. He puts it under the wing. Mulhall still going. Big run by Corey Mulhall. Twenty metres out. Ford looks back to the open side. Russell's waiting. On to Taylor. Taylor straightens the play. He had players on the inside. Gumley Quine. He was waiting for it. But he takes the tackle. Inside the ten. Russell. Cut out ball, Winchester, he puts it on the boot. It's juggled there and eventually picked up by Atkins waiting at the back. I feel Winchester almost dropped that ball and instead towed it onto his boot. It wasn't the greatest of passes, having to bend down for it. The Knights get away. There in the 12 jersey, Angel scored the first try of the afternoon. Run a nice line off Cameron Vizola. Cool day down on the south coast, going for about a top of 16. That ball bounces away from Gumley Quine, who will eventually get the service room service bounce, and he ducks under a high one from Vizola there, and... Manages to make another 10 metres. Lions starting their set in pretty good territory. That's Ducey with it now. Short side snipe from Gumley Quine. Textbook tackle to bring him down. So Ford out to the left he darts. Nathan Ford the skipper. Russell, Mulhall, short ball there to Collier. 30 metres out, one tackle left. Russell, he feeds it to Taylor, who's got that big boot. The chase from Ducey, he takes it but drops it. And the Knights come up with it. It'll be a changeover, they'll play the ball about 10 metres out from their own line. The lull over the ground at the moment. After that frenetic start, we've had three tries in the opening quarter, two of those to the Knights. <laughs> the winner today, off to the preliminary final, the loser... Well, it's curtains for 2019. Early kick. It takes a deflection. The chase coming through and diving on it is Alex Weir for the Lions. Desperation from the big front rower. Getting back there to help out. Now it's Phillips with the ball. Coming off the right wing. Ford copping a big shot over the top. Now Winchester, at his typically dangerous best. Russell getting the offload, dancing, skipping around and finding Roberts. Roberts has picked up, he tried the offload, it comes back to the Knights. It's just not clicking at the moment for the home side. Now Morris weaving his way through. Within 12 of halfway. Chalker plays it. 
a little bit of a skip there, and it's Cal Thistlewaite. As they go to the right, Morris running straight at Hagen and getting an offload out there, and it's Tim's now. He'll play 32 out. The ball shifted across to Vizola. Vizola thought about kicking, then thought again. And eventually a kick's put through. It, it's worked out okay for the Knights, but I'm sure that wasn't in the script. But a lost ball there from Ducey, and the Knights come up with it 12 metres out. Big chance if they go to the left. That's the way they go. And it probably wasn't the right play. They needed to shift the ball. Instead, they go back to the right now. And out there from Poole to Vizola. Short there. And now it's Tim's trying to crash his way over. Looking for try number three, Kayama. Now Vizola. Vizola again assessing his options. That's not a bad one. Reaching out is Poole. Brought down just short. They go back to the centre. And Chalker loses it. Gumley Quine comes up with the ball for the Lions. Double knock-ons the call. So Matt Gladman on there for the Knights. In the 17 jersey. Going to their bench. So Russell Waits acting half. Winchester. Such an awkward play to tackle. He's got that tall, lanky frame. And Mullhall running it up like he's a big front rower. He certainly has got one of the bigger frames for a 5'8", mind you. Now Ford. A lot of dummy half and one out running from the Lions, and they get a penalty. Quick play. The ball's the key for Jeringong. Taylor will look for touch. We see the sun poke its head out. Had a bit of rain during the week. A little sprinkle this morning, but nothing to really trouble the players this afternoon. All in all, it's a pretty dry track. Russell on to Weir. Alex Weir finding the scorer sheet last week against Jamboree. Now Russell steps off the right. Brought down by Clark in there. And Russell loses it. Well, that's uncharacteristic from Ricks and Russell, the reliable general for the Lions. 17 minutes gone. It's 10-6 in favour of Kayama. 17 to go in this first half. Make it 16. So Vizola feeds the scrum. Big tackle coming in. Some great contact by Mulhall. For mine, the, the best offensive six in the comp. Cheesy can hit. That's Taylor with the tackle. Chalker now. So the Knights work it away from their own end. So out the back there, maybe a hint of an obstruction, but pulls tackle. And Kayama up to halfway on their last tackle. Vizola, spiral bomb that turns into a floater. Gumley Quine does magnificently. And he gets up and makes a couple more metres. Ducey shifting it to his... Fellow winger and Phillips. We're within 15 of halfway. Ducey looked one way, went the other. Now Ford awaiting. Lions trailing by four. Russell throwing the dummy. Goes straight through the gap, Russell. He's got the one to beat. The, def oh, the defence comes across and makes an important tackle. Where was his support? Play on here for the Lions as Ford goes down the blind side. Again, I'm not sure that was the option. They're queuing up out to the right. 
And that'll be a penalty. They were slowing it down. Very cynical from Kayama. Lucky not to give away a, a, perhaps a player in the bid. But Russell poked his head through the gap. No one was trailing. Taylor was trying to get there. Now Hagen. Golden chance for the Lions. Russell Wadey. Out to Mulhall. Shaped to go on the run around back to Russell. Instead was pickpocketed by Tom Angel. Kayama back with possession. And they just haven't been ruthless enough, the Lions, and now they give away a penalty. Well, Mick Cronin would be filthy with his side. It's not often you see Corey Mulhall have his pocket picked like that. Kayam are up into the Lions' half. They've looked threatening with the ball every time they've come down to this part of Mick Cronin Oval. Chalker now standing in the tackle. Russell trying to cut him down like a chainsaw to a tree. So Vizola out of acting half. He finds support in Atkins and Atkins scores. Right next to the post, time off called. He may want to consult. Was there an obstruction? Was it a try? Maybe a hint of obstruction. The touch judge wants to have his say. He did open up very easily for Vizola, and I think they're going to blow a penalty to the Lions. So there was a player taken out, as I suspected, just happened a little bit easy. So could that be a game-changing moment? Mark that down. 12 minutes left in the first half. Kayama disallowed a try. I have to say from the naked eye, I think it's the right call. Of course, we don't have the benefit of the, of the replay up here, but just seemed to open up too easy for Vizola. In any event, the Lions get away out of jail. Roberts, manhandled by Angel. What a game Tom Angel is having. Back to the centre. Weir to his front row partner in Hagen. Nice little tip on at the line. Open side. Taylor. Short ball, slide of hand. He finds Chandler. Chandler looking for support. He rolls it out the back. There to pick it up is Winchester. But it's called forward. Well, there's a chance that's gone begging for Jeringong. Great tackle at the back from Atkins. So the Knights have had to do their fair share of defending. But they've stood tall even when the Lions have been able to breach the defence. The cover's been immense. Angel. Ten short of halfway, the Knights. Pool showing it. So they go back to the left. The step, and almost through. Vizola wrapping around. He wants to find touch. Didn't find many metres, but a good settler. May have even been Morris with the kick there, because Vizola was caught on the fifth. So Morris 
just settling things for Kaima. They, of course, have that four-point lead. Ten minutes left until half-time in this elimination game. I hope you're enjoying it on Bar TV. One of the great rivalries in country rugby league. So Roberts drifts across field, and what about that tackle? Lasso from Atkins. And pressure out of Marker as well. Well, they get six again. I wonder if that took a touch off Atkins. And he wasn't square at Marker, I think, will be the call. Or was it a high tackle? That's what seems to be what Will Drury is indicating. So Doocy under a high one. Four to eight. Taylor off the left. Russell, Mulhall, here they go. Gumley Quine feeds Roberts. Back infield, Roberts goes. Martin coming in with a tackle. Ford now sees the markers out of place. Goes to Mulhall. 20 metres out. Here's the fifth. Russell through the hands. Taylor thought about kicking. He eventually does. Like a pinball, it goes off a set of legs, left, right and centre. And eventually, it'll be accidental offsides, the call. And it looks like it'll be Jerringong ball. Eight minutes left until the break. Jerringong trail by four. Big chance here for Mick Cronin's men. Winchester throws the big dummy Winchester and almost through. Tackle coming in from Poole. It was an important one. Mulhall, quick hands. Gumley Quine steps off the right. And Gumley Quine, we know how dangerous he is. He's quick and he's strong, but he's not that strong that he can get over on that occasion. Short side, turn on the inside. Mulhall looking to bullock his way over. And Morris, his opposite, makes the tackle. Four. Russell. Stops and props and gives it to Weir. And he's brought down by his opposite chalker. Russell Taylor. Defence was up quick. Gladman there to make it. Lost ball from the Lions. It's fast becoming the story of the first half. Plenty of opportunity in the Kayama 20. The drop balls certainly are taking their toll. A reminder of tomorrow's grand final qualifier between the Shell Harbour Sharks and the Jamboree Superoos. And as far as the home and away season goes, it can't be argued they have been the two most consistent teams. What about the Sharks? They were almost a stalking horse all year. They were sitting in behind that leading pack and then in the last sort of five or six weeks have just sprung to life. They just know how to get ready for this time of the season. And they've got a chance to make another grand final tomorrow. Ron Costello Oval will be calling that one. But here at the moment... Two teams fighting for their survival in 2019. Angel with the ball for Kayama. Now the ball from Vizola. Again between plays, but it sits up beautifully for Gumley Quine. Trouble here for the Knights, but a big tackle coming in. And somehow Gumley Quine stays in the field of play. Now Winchester for Jeringong. Tackle two. They're into the Kayama half. Chandler, Phillips, dancing. Fleet-footed, but brought down by Angel. They continue to the right. Mulhall in the 17. It's Hamish Holland on the field. Back open side. The dummy from Russell. Then he looks to try and put Chandler through the hole, but they ran through the same hole. Time off here. 
Russell might have hurt himself. So a high tackle. Quick tap. Play on for the Lions. Chandler with it. Ten metres out. Ford goes to the left. Running straight at a defender. His opposite comes in down low. Gets help over the top. Russell to acting half. Short side Taylor. Five of them there to hold him up. He'll be back out to the 10 to play it. Gong, they've got a deep line out to the right. Gumley Quine, quick shift Mulhall. He looks to his inside and takes it to the line. Ford back to the left. Taylor throws the big dummy. They don't sell, they don't buy it. Kayama come up with the football. Now, did it come off a Kayama hand is the question. Will Drury has indicated exactly that. Matt Morris thought he was away. Four minutes left until the break. The Lions knocking on the door. Trying to bang it down. At the moment, it's been closed shut. Can it change here, Winchester? He seems to be the go-to man for the Lions at the moment. Russell awaiting. Mulhall, this time he gets it out to Roberts. And Roberts brought down in a good tackle by his opposite number four. And now Hamish Holland trying to back his way over. Again, he'll be out to the 10. What about this Knights defence? After conceding in the first four minutes... We've gone 35 minutes without conceding. Mulhall waiting at first receiver. On to Ford. Quick hands. Collier thought he was through. It was forward. Kayama survive. Another missed opportunity for Jeringon. Well, if they go down today, they've got no excuses, Jeringon. Had plenty of chances to land some pretty crucial blows. So Clark plays it. Now the Knights tasked with working it out of their own end and they've had plenty of juice sapped from the tank. Morris. They work it back to the open. Paul with it. So now the inside ball from Vizola. That might be six again. No, it'll be play on for the Lions. As they look the quick shift. Russell, look to his inside. And he gets ragdolled by Atkins. He looks to have gone into the line, which means Morris... Dylan Morris has gone back to fullback. Those two interchanging as they so often do. The ball on the inside of Gumley Quine, and Gumley Quine's brought down. Ford looking to pick up a runner. He eventually picks up Wick. And the big fella. Only 35 metres out. Lions trailing by four. 38 seconds left until half time. Can they land a blow right on the 40-minute mark? Slow play the ball. Ford goes to Russell. This is an all-or-nothing play. He's looking for Doocy, who gets up. But the ball goes into touch. And that'll be the end of the passage. As far as the first half is concerned. Although the Lions are rushing to pack the scrum. I'll get the loose and feed by the looks. There's the siren. 
Half time in the elimination semi final here at Mick Crinan Oval. At the moment, it is Kayama leading this one 10 points to six. A break, and we'll be back with all the second half action here on Bar TV.
Welcome back. The second half of the elimination semi about to get underway. Kayama leading 10-6 over their arch rival Jeringong. A big 40 minutes coming up. One of these sides will be sent packing after 80 minutes or maybe extra time. Who knows? This game on a knife's edge. Underway. Second half. The ball from Atkins and it's Clark. First half try for the big front rower. Now Morris. And now that's an error. An early error from the Knights. We saw two tries in the first three minutes of the game. Could we see a try within the opening two minutes? Of the second half, and that was Tasman Gilmore with the error. Big chance. So Russell goes to the short side. Gumley Quine picking up Winchester, and Gumley Quine has lost the ball. The story of the afternoon for Jeringong thus far. Chances galore, but they haven't been able to capitalise. Now Gilmore looking to atone. Instead, he runs into Mulhall who drives him into the ground. So Ford plays it. Now Jay Delaney. Paul turns it into Clark. Martin, Poole, Atkins. Steps off the right. Easy pickings for the Lions defence. Good defensive set. Forces a rush kick from Vizola. It's an awkward one. But Ducey did exceptionally. In fact, it was Phillips, I think. The Lions to start this set on the front foot. Gumley Quine plays it. Marker up quickly and Martin. Up on halfway, forward to Russell. Short ball coming in. Now forward. Offload away. It's going to work out there for Winchester. Well, the Knights players stood there in bemusement. Now, I'm not sure that went forward, but... That was the call from the touch judge who was in a much better position. A little bit fortunate there, Kayama. Having said that, it was fairly sloppy play from Jeringong. Now, Angel standing. One off the scrum. Takes the ball into contact. And he'll play it. 30 out. Ford. Hasn't mu had much involvement. And Roberts, his opposite number, tries to bring him down. And he attracts a penalty. Ford takes the tap. He wants to go on with it, but he wasn't on the mark. Three minutes gone in the second half. The elimination game. The local derby. Big crowd in this afternoon. The majority are hoping it's going to be a Jeringong win. But at the moment, it's Kayama on top. Even if that play didn't go to plan. Clark to play it. Gilmore. Ford. Brings him down one-on-one. -on -one. They go to the left. Morris shows it. Goes inside to Ford who trips over. 
Open side, pull. Vizola. Atkins trying to get on the outside of Russell. He gets away from him. He goes back towards the posts and he's roped in. Ford with a tackle. The ball spits out. And that'll be a knock on. The Knights wanted a penalty. You'd have to say it was just a loose carry. Very riddled start to the second half. Very similar to the last time these two sides played at this ground in terms of scoreline. Kaima with the first half lead and were able to go on with it. Remains to be seen whether that's the case today. They won on that occasion by four. They lead by four at the moment. So the Lions are st struggling to get out of their own end here. Ducey playing it. It's a better run. So short side they go with Ro um, in the 17. It's Holland. Back to the middle for Taylor. Taylor goes high. This one will test Morris. And Morris does exceptionally. And a big hit coming in in the 17 from Hamish Holland. But a penalty. Was just a little too enthusiastic. If the Lions want to win this game, they have to cut out the errors and cut out the penalties. They just can't allow the Knights to get a free ticket out of their own half. So Morris on the inside to Clark. Mulhall in there. Ford as well. Holland even in there to finish it off. Gilmore loses it again. Would you believe it? He's not having, not having a happy five or six minutes to start this half as Tasman Gilmore off the bench for the Knights. The question remains, can they capitalise? Some good defence coming in on Gumley Quine, and it was his opposite number. As they work down the short side, Hagen with. Winchester throws the dummy Winchester. He gets through. He tries to get away from Paul, who comes again with the help of Morris. Winchester thought he was through for all money. Slow play the ball. Right with Russell. Russell throws the dummy. He can't get away from Morris and Paul. Eventually brought down. They're five metres out the Lions. They try to bash and barge their way over. Ford goes back to the right. Mulhall passes. Quick hands. Roberts, he loses it. It goes back to Poole. And Kayama again survive. Semi-final goal line defence from Kayama. And now Clark away. He'll play it 20 out. What an effort from the men from Kayama who refused to give in. Gladman now. Now the winger, Matt Morris. The son of Slippery Morris. Vizola. Pull. That's the fifth. Vizola drives it straight down from the tee. Now Gumley Quine. Can he spark this Jeringong side? Not on that occasion. It was a good tackle from Thistleway. So again, a bit of a hush over the ground as 
We wait for either side to land another strike. Weir plays it. Short side, Russell. Mulhall. 30 out. Chance for an attacking kick, perhaps. Russell Taylor, the high ball specialist. He gives it plenty of altitude. Morris, he drops it backwards. Work to do for Morris. He can't do it. It'll be a goal line dropout. We got a good look. It happened right under our noses here in the commentary position. Matt Morris. Not one of his finest moments. And the pressure builds. Kayama 10, Jiringong 6. 10 minutes gone in the second half of this elimination group 7 game on Bar TV. Vizzola just sucking up every second he can, giving his team a much needed breather before they have to do another set of defence. So Collier to play it. As they go to the right. Weir plays it. Russell Mulhall. Mulhall quick hands. No way through. Oh, and a lost ball. Well, Holland wasn't expecting it. He thought he was going to be a decoy. Nathan Ford passed it to him. It was almost a deliberate forward pass. He was already passed for. Execution is killing the Lions. Now Gladman. Oh, what a tackle by Mulhall. Hasn't he got the most beautiful technique? You could watch him defend all day. Thistlethwaite plays it. Chalker into the action now for Kayama. Appeals for a penalty. Fall on deaf ears. Now pull. He skips around Hagen. Now Martin getting out of dummy half. He picks up a cheap 10 metres. Good end of the set for Kayama. Now for the kick. For Zola. In between Phillips and Gumley Quine. It's Phillips who calls for it. He gets away from one and cops the rough treatment over the top. Good tackle by Ford coming in. Now the Lions left to work it out of their own end. It's turned into a beautiful afternoon here at Jerringong. Bit of a late start due to extra time in some of the earlier grades. And we saw a thrill in reserve grade as well. Lions fans will be happy. They got the chocolates over the Shell Harbour Sharks. Looking to do the double for first grade. At the moment they trail. But Russell, he may be the man to spark something. He runs it. He passes it. But it's play on. Lost by Kayama. Winchester comes up with it. Double knock on. Who was it first? Change over. So Jerringong coming up with the first error. Might have just spilled forward out of the hands of Russell. I think it was Morris in cover who coughed up the ball. Chalker. This will be a brave win if they can hang on, Kayama. They have had to do a mountain of defending. Now Delaney beating tacklers left, right and centre. He left Taylor in his wake. Now pull. He had Clark on his outside, but takes the tackle. Martin goes left. Vizzola was waiting. He lines up Angel. And Angel looking for a double this afternoon. He offloads to Clark. Ford's in there. So is Russell. 
They bring him down. Short side. Morris just dabbles it through. Ford picks it up. And Ford looking to score. Kayama still with the ball. Still going towards the line. That'll be the changeover. Jerringong somehow surviving. And things threatening to kick off. A bit of push and shove. Russell was on the ground. Touch charge in. Might be a little bit more to this passage. So both captains getting a talking to. It's going to be play on. I think that's the right call. Well, we thought there was every chance that there was going to be some fireworks between these two sides this afternoon. Maybe that's the first hint that things could kick off as things get heated, things get tight in this elimination game. A gap almost opening up for Ford. Here come the Lions. Taylor with a big run. Cries for a penalty as the crowd gets into it. Mulhall. Into the Knights half. Russell goes down the short side. Another error from Gong. The replacement, Bo Ducey. Well, another chance goes by the wayside for Mick Cronin's men. James Brown now in the park for Kayama, waiting for the football at first receiver. And that's where they go. And he almost got on the outside of Holland. Good first run for Brown. Gets his side on the front foot for Delaney. Delaney almost busting out of the tackle. Two tackles gone. They've gone 30 metres. Morris, the live wire. Vizola out the back. Atkins had Gladman there. Didn't use him. Brown again. They've gone 60 metres. Short side, the dummy. And Jeringong survive. They come up with the football, an intercept. Boy, oh boy, what a topsy-turvy game. Not many points, but plenty of excitement. Edge of the seat stuff. You'd have to think if Kayama can get another try, Jerringong are going to find it very hard to come back. Roberts. How weird. Trying to inspire his side. Russell Mulhall. Reese it downfield. Morris was waiting. Oh, and he almost steps away from Ford. But he slips in the greasy centre of Mick Cronin. Oval! Big tackle coming in on Matt Morris. Thistleweight. A little bit more enthusiasm for the Lions in defence. Now Paul turning Angel on the inside. Martin, Frizzola, pull, oh, big hit. Ran into the wrong channel there. Holland was there to finish him off. Now to the fifth, Frizzola. 
Again, testing the back three. Ducey coming up, and it was actually taken by one of the Kaima players, but they were waiting for him. Morris, I think it was. So it was, in fact, it was uh, Thistlethwaite. Twenty-two left. The elimination game going down to the wire. Would you have expected anything else? So one on one, Martin thought he might have had a legitimate play at the ball there. Mulhall hung on. Isaac Russell onto the park. He gets the offload away. And that's better from Gumley Quine. The Lions can smell an opportunity. Mulhall standing and offloading. Fazola comes in and makes an important tackle. Angel to finish it off. The natives are restless. Morris, easy catch. Penalty though, kicker taken out, Russell taken out. Crucial call. Big moment for the Lions. Here they come. Quick tap taken. Big hit coming in on Bo Ducey. Gladman was there to finish it off. Russell. Short ball. we Offload back to Russell. They go through the hands. Now, out wide. The play breaks down. Rickson Russell got the pass out to Mulhall, who took the odds and went himself. Weir backs into the defence. Now looking to back his way over the line. He's strong, but he can't get the ball down. Russell now, which way will he go? He's got his brother to the left. He goes that way. Now Taylor, he's caught up. He flicks it out the back. Russell loses it. He can't believe it. A panic play and the Knights, they know how big that was. We are going down to the wire, into the final quarter. It's got that finals pressure, that finals intensity about it, doesn't it? Chalker has the Knights work it out from their own end. Delaney, what a handful he's been in this second half. Really helped out the forwards with some big carries. Martin with a big run. Vizola at acting half and a penalty to Kayama. Well, the crowd knows how big the final 19 are. They are starting to get very vocal. It was just simmering along this game, but now it's starting to bubble. Al Brown. Pull. Shifts it to Chalker. Kaima would be desperately wanting to score next and land a big blow. Morris almost away from Holland. Gumley Quine in there to help out. The fullback in the line. Will they think about an early kick? Vazola. Pull. Has Atkins. May not need him. Oh, pull almost. Back to the open side. Vizola, a long cutout ball to Angel. Angel, a flick out the back. Ford tried to pass it on and loses it. Six against the call. It came off a lion. Chance to put it to bed, Kayama. Delaney plays it. Vizola, Brown. Bit of a goose step. 
Forward five metres out. Vizola. Martin waiting. Pull. Atkins steps off the right. Beats one, two, three. Trying to get away. Can't do so. Open side, Martin. Vizola thought about the run around. Vizola, he wants to do it all himself and he does. Cameron Vizola. He set up two tries in the first half. And he scores maybe the one that wins the game for the Knights. Still plenty of time left. 16 to go. But a big lead now. 14-6. Cameron Vizola. The little general. He missed his last attempt on goal, but you can almost bet your house he will throw this one over at the risk of giving him the commentator's curse. Well, Jeringong, they have to throw the kitchen sink now. They came in fourth to the final series, Kayama. But more and more, they are looking like a side that can really give this competition a shake. Looking for their seventh win in a row. No question of a doubt, they are the form team of the competition. Now Cameron Fizzola to extend the lead to 10. And he does so with ease. He bangs the ball deep to the eastern side of the field. 16-6. Well, Jerry Gong have to get it together and get it together quickly. They've struggled to score points this afternoon. You never say never in a finals game. Now Gladman. Chalker. It'll be interesting to see how Kaima play now. Do they put the cue in the rack and try and just complete and get to their kick? Or will they really land the knockout blow? Brown with the football. He'll play it 12 short of halfway. Q. Now it's Angel. Offload away to Morris. In fact, it may have been Martin trailing. So Chalker runs at Russell and Taylor. Big set for the Knights. Atkins, short side, rolls it in, takes a deflection, goes over the touchline. And it was played at. Is that the signal? No, it'll be Jeringong ball, as I would have thought. 13 minutes left. 16-6. Oh, and a big tackle coming in. And it was Vizola. Who else, of course? Doing it all this afternoon for Kayama. Russell. Quick hands forward on to uh, Roberts. Mulhall. Wide pass. Winchester. Can he be the man? Russell waiting to the left. Mulhall to the right. 
Russell. Back to Winchester, throwing the dummy, putting the kick through, the chase coming across, but Morris was there. Alec Brooks on the far side was chasing through. He couldn't come up with the ball, but a repeat set. Here come the Lions. 12 minutes left. Now Vizella chewing up as much time as humanly possible with the Lions chasing the game. Their season on the line in the next 11 minutes. Russell awaits. Ricks and Russell. Taylor. 22 out. Isaac Russell to Ricks and Russell. Quick hands. Mulhall. Short ball. Cries are forward from the Kiama fans. Can this be the moment? Russell, run around, looking for Roberts, ran out of room. Takes the tackle. Kiama, resolute in defence. Weir. He can't crack them. This is the last play for the Lions. Russell going to the air. Doocy coming through. He gets a jump, but it goes dead. 20 metre tap for the Knights. Seven tackles. Big moment of the game. Doocy got a play. It was just a little deep, the kick. Even if he got a clean catch, he was over the dead ball line. So Brown on zero tackle for Kiama. Delaney. He's beaten the tackle, just first up tackle just about every time this afternoon. Back to Brown. Energetic since coming off the bench. Now Chalker. Short side Atkins. Throws a short pass. It was a nice one to Thistleweight. Crucial tackle from Joel Ducey. Now pull. Angel. Vizola. And Gumley Quan's there. Now or never... They throw the ball out the back. It's going to be forward, though. Kyama getting a touch. Morris thought he was in for the clincher. So Jerry go. what do they have up the sleeve? Eight minutes to score 12 points. They have to be near perfect. There's a bit of second phase play for Isaac Russell. He refuses to go down. He gets the ball away. Nathan Ford with it. Russell again. Here come the Lions. Inside the last seven. Russell, quick hands. Determined charge. Strip one on one. Big play. Massive play. Tom Atkins, what a day he's having. Now Thistle White. Well, was that the play of the game just about? Has to be up there. Chalker. Now Clark. Taylor. Jumped on his back. 
came along for the ride. Pull to Angel. Somehow gets a ball to Morris. But he's going nowhere. This is the fifth. Vizola, game management. That's perfect. Big kick. Cool boot. Cool head. 16-6. Jerengong at risk of going out in straight sets. And Russell with it. 90 metres to go. Time running out. Stony silence in the crowd. The Lions fans, they're nervous. I imagine Kyama fans for the moment, they're getting a little excited but also quite nervous because here come Jeringon, the dummy. Winchester almost through. So Ford bouncing away. Winchester, one hand of Ford. They're going nowhere. He's showing the sideline. The Kayama defence comes in and they show him the sideline. Play on though. He somehow kept the ball in. Jeringong, they've got numbers galore. They need to shift and they need to shift quickly. There it is, Winchester. He goes the kick instead. He's got the chase coming through. Phillips gets a play. Phillips loses the ball. And here goes Morris. He can end it here. Morris over the 30, over the 40. He gets away from one. And he's brought down on halfway. Four and a half to go. Now Clark. Kayama just composing themselves. Pull. They only need to hang on to the ball and find touch at the end of the set. A try, a bonus. Chalker. Martin awaits. Lefty goes. Vizola stepping off the left. He's got one this afternoon. He's been in everything. Morris, how good's he been? And that man, Angel. Vizola, he dies with a football, as good as a kick. 90 metres to go for Jeringong, they need two tries. It's this set, it's now or never. Quick hands. Chandler. Isaac Russell looked to his brother, went the other way. Not much doing at the moment. Are they setting up for a play right here and right now? Russell trying to find a way through. Winchester slipping. Three to go. Time running out. That'll be a penalty for a high shot. They need to take the tap and go. Winchester offloads. Russell tucks it under the wing and he's brought down by Clark. 22 out. Two and a half to go. Inside ball, Russell. Finding Weir. Throws an offload. Back to Ford. Ford running towards the try line. Four of them in there. The Knights hanging on desperately. Lions need to be scoring right here, right now. And they do. A try to Jeringong with two minutes left. Massive play by Matt Winchester, who gets his second for the afternoon. Taylor, the T was already out there. He moves in, strikes it. Four-point game. 
grandstand finish in the elimination semi. Kayama winding down the clock. They're in absolutely no hurry. Will Will Drury call time off? He has. And that's got a cheer from the Lions supporters who've roared to life. Could we see a miracle? They haven't looked like breaching the, the Knights' defence really for 70, 75 minutes. But it's a funny thing, desperation in football. That one's deep from Vizola. Here comes Weir. A minute and a half left. You'd think this is the last chance for the Lions. The last set they'll get. Into the final minute. Appeals for not gone. They've lost it. The Lions have lost it. Kayama can close it out. 36 seconds left. This would be a famous victory. Time off called. A bit of gamesmanship. Sixteen twelve. Identical scoreline to when they met in round sixteen. A sense of deja vu for the Lions, perhaps. Twenty six seconds. Time off. What a game of rugby league. The way Kaim has defended today, they do deserve to hold on. But never count out Jeringong. Mick Cronin on the sideline. He looks a uh, pretty consigned man. I think he knows the fate of his team. It will take some sort of divine intervention now for the Lions. It'll probably be two tackles maximum. They'll need to come up with some sort of one-on-one -on -one strip. They don't get it there. 20 seconds left. Clark with it for the Knights. Time for one more play. Angel... He'll die with the football. There's the siren. The Knights have done it. They continue to walk the elimination tightrope. They have defeated Jeringong 16 12. And are now one win away from a grand final appearance. A maestro performance from Cameron Vizola. He's the Bar TV man of the match. A massive performance from the number seven and some good support acts. Kieran Poole, impressive. Tom Angel was immense. Tyler Clark, he scored a try. He was great up forward. Some good supporting roles by the likes of Dylan Morris. Matt Winchester scoring the only two tries for Jeringong. He was good in a beaten bunch. What a game of rugby league. What a game of finals rugby league. So... Kayama march on. They will play the loser of tomorrow's grand final qualifier between the Shell Harbour Sharks and Jamboree. That'll be on Bar TV. You'll see that one coming from Ron Costello Oval. I'll look forward to bringing you that call. But here in the local derby, Kayama ending Jeringong season. Hope you've enjoyed the call. We look forward to your company next time.
left it on. Can they tell me? Oh, no. I'm sorry. No. Force of habit. We've got those with, uh, with work as well. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Oh, Tyler. Tyler. No nudie run, mate. Thank you. 